Hey, it's Heidi from A Lively Hope, back with the next edition of our watercolor fun video series. I've got my watercolor paper, my praying watercolor set, which is beloved as you can see and well used. I've got a fine tip Sharpie and my water and a medium size paintbrush. Um, the exact pen you use doesn't really matter, except you do want it to be permanent because we're going to be putting watercolor over the top of it. This is a really fun thing to do. So you're going to scribble all over the page. And the one thing you need to pay close attention to is making sure you're leaving big enough spaces in between where you scribble. We don't want teeny, teeny, tiny spaces because we're going to fill these in with different colors and it would take you a million years if you made the spaces too tiny. So now I'm just looking and seeing if there's any spots that I feel like I want to add another little section to. So now that I'm done with that part, I'm just going to take my paint. First I get it wet and I'm going to fill in each section with a different color. So some of the colors might touch other colors that are next to them and they'll bleed a little bit together like we love when watercolors do that. Um, but other than that, these sections are going to stay pretty much the color that we paint them. So I'm just using my eyeballs to see what color I like in what place. I try not to put the color, the same color together. Um, I, if I were to use this purple again, I would want to move it to a different spot on maybe the opposite side of my scribble drawing. But there's really no rules about that, and that is what is fun. So you can choose whatever colors you think are beautiful. I think all of the colors are beautiful. Um, but you can choose your favorite colors and fill in the sections the way you want. See how my orange bled into the purple right there? I love it when that happens. Um, but if you didn't want that to happen, you could take some time in between. So maybe do a color on the left side of your page and then fill in a section on the right side of your page and give them a little bit of time to dry in between and then they won't bleed together like that. But you're the artist, so it's totally up to you what that looks like. Um, I'm trying not to stick my hand in my paint because I do that sometimes. So I'm doing one side and then I'll move to the other side. But this is the whole exercise for today. We call this a scribble fill-in. That's what I call it. Maybe you could think of a better name to call it, though. So let me know what you think if there's a better name for this. So I'm just going to speed this up so you can watch. Remember, number one thing you're trying to do is make sure you're leaving big enough space, big enough sections to fill in with colors and not teeny tiny scribbles that are too close together. A number two thing to remember is I like to go around the outside of my shape first. So I fill it, so I outline the shape with my paint and then fill in the shape after. And that helps me to have a nicer, crisper edge of my painted section.
I love how all these colors look together. I'm just going to fill in this tiny last space. And now it's your turn. I can't wait to see what you make. Happy painting.